Did you know there are records for golf that are kept globally? You've definitely heard of the tallest man alive, the global record for longest fingernails or hair, but you might not be aware that there are a ton of world records in the world of golf. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at golf's impossible moments. Check out some of the top golf world records whether you're searching for something new to strive for or just want to satisfy your natural sense of adventure, some of them may surprise you. The Longest Putt The record for the longest putt is 125 yards, achieved by Fergus Muir, 66 years old. The year was 2001, and the location was the Eden Course at St. Andrew's Lynx. On the fifth hole, he hit the shot perfectly straight from the tee. While some people may consider themselves to be on the wrong side of their 60s, Others, such as Muir, are taking the time to accomplish world records. Pretty impressive. The fastest round. The world record for the quickest round ever completed was 13 minutes and 42 seconds. In order to break this record, a squad of 80 golfers was spread out around the 18-hole course, and each player was responsible for contributing to the overall effort. The Farnham Golf Club in Surrey, England is where the record was set. It is a mystery to me how 80 people could be persuaded to participate in this round of golf, but the fact that they worked together to accomplish this goal is undeniable. World's Longest Hole The longest hole in the world is located at Satsuki GC in Sano, Japan. It's a par 7 and it's a massive 964 yards long. Imagine attempting to do that with only 3 swings. Perhaps this will provide you with an excuse to travel to Japan. You never know, you may return with a new personal golfing record. Longest Competition Drive 1974 witnessed the longest drive in a professional competition. It was accomplished at the Winterwood Golf Course, now the Desert Rose, by Mike Austin, age 64. During the US National Seniors Championship, this record was established. Austin's longest drive was 515 yards and was made with a persimmon club. It is worth noting that he did receive some assistance from the 35 miles per hour tailwinds that were blowing that day the most played holes in one year. This record is held by Chris Adam, a Canadian golfer. Adam managed to complete 14,626 holes in a single calendar year. In reality, they were all held at the King Kamehameha Golf Club in Weiluku, Hawaii. More impressive than the number of games they played is how much free time they must have had to accomplish it. Perhaps this is what retirement for a golf enthusiast looks like. The youngest golfer to get a hole in one. This is a record that'll be difficult to surpass, and if you're watching this video, your ship has probably already sailed. Christian Carpenter accomplished a hole-in-one at the tender age of 4 years and 195 days. In 1999, Mountain View Golf Club in Hickory, North Carolina set the record. At the age of 12, he maintained this pursuit of records by shooting a 54 on an 18-hole course. He has since entered the professional ranks. I'm certain that beginning his golfing career at age 4 will be difficult to surpass as he ages. The lowest score on an 18-hole course. This record was set by Australian Ryan Gibson in 2012. During a match at the River Oaks Golf Club in Edmond, Oklahoma, he shot a score of 55. This round featured 12 birdies and 2 eagles. Longest usable golf club. This album was created for a worthy purpose. Michael Furr of the United States created a useful club measuring 8.56 meters in length. He utilized it to strike the ball 59 yards. He utilized the club's increased visibility to collect funds for breast cancer and awareness. I do not know how much money he ended up raising, but this is certainly a novel method to help those in need. Lowest score with one club. The lowest score ever recorded with a single club was 70, two strokes under par. The record was set by American Thad Daber with a six iron. Daber set this record in 1987 during the World 1 Club Championship at Lockmere Golf Club in North Carolina. Most holes played in 24 hours. Rob James of Canada holds this record which was accomplished using a cart at the Victoria Golf Course. He played 851 holes back in June of 2004 at this course in Edmonton, Canada. While accomplishing this goal, he hit 430 pars, 45 birdies, a high of 87, and 4 rounds of 68. I suspect that this man had a whole lot of coffee that day. Longest course in the world. Lijiang, China is home to the world's longest course, which can be found here. It is a par 72 course and can be found at the Jade Dragon Snow Mountain location. 
The total yardage of the course is 8,548, and the longest hole is the fifth, which is a par 5 and measures 711 yards. It is highly recommended that you include this activity in your list of trip goals. The Biggest Golf Club Collection Robert Lansocht of Spain began his collection of golf clubs in 1992 and currently owns 4,393 of them. He is the owner of a restaurant in Costa del Sol and it is there that guests are able to get a look at his full collection, which is shown there. He never stops adding new things to his collection on a weekly basis. Fastest Golf Cart Golf cart races are a real thing, and the winner of the most recent one was Robbie Steen, who hails from the United States. Bandit was the name of the cart, and Plum Quick Motors was the owner of the vehicle. In 2014, it raced at the Darlington Dragway in Hartsville, South Carolina, and recorded a top speed of 191.12 km per hour. The Longest Golf Cart Since there's a record for the quickest time, there should probably also be one for the most time spent doing something. The longest cart in the world was built in the United States by Mike's Golf Course, and it has a length of 9.62 meters from bumper to bumper. During the month of May 2013, this was successful in Georgia. The tallest professional golfer, Marcel Pickel, who's from Germany and has a height of 2.06 meters, is the recipient of this record. The most recent time this was documented occurred in 2014 in the city of Köln in Germany. He competed on the PGA of Germany tour between the years 2010 and 2013. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned.